the given equation is 1 plus c whole raised to the power n is equal to 1 minus c whole raised to the power n, which can be written as 1 minus c divided by 1 plus c whole raised to the power n is equal to 1. The right hand side can be written as cos of 2r pi plus i times sine of 2r pi, where r is an integer. It follows that 1 minus c divided by 1 plus c is equal to cos of 2r pi plus i times sine of 2r pi whole raised to the power 1 upon n, which using the Mohr's theorem is equal to cos of 2r pi upon n plus i times sine of 2r pi upon n. Taking the reciprocal of both sides, we get 1 plus c upon 1 minus z is equal to 1 upon cos of 2r pi upon n plus i times sine of 2r pi upon n. Applying componendo dividendo, we get 1 plus z minus in brackets 1 minus z divided by 1 plus z plus 1 minus z on the left hand side and the right hand side is equal to 1 minus in brackets cos of 2r pi upon n plus i times sine of 2r pi upon n divided by 1 plus cos of 2r pi upon n plus i times sine of 2r pi upon n. On the left hand side the numerator is equal to 2z and the denominator is equal to 2. 2 cancels across the numerator and the denominator on the left hand side and therefore z is equal to 1 minus cos of 2r pi upon n minus i times sine of 2r pi upon n divided by 1 plus cos of 2r pi upon n plus i times sine of 2r pi upon n. And this can be written as 2 times sine square r pi upon n minus 2i times sine of r pi upon n times cos of r pi upon n divided by 2 times cos square r pi upon n plus 2i times sine of r pi upon n times cos of r pi upon n. 2 cancels across the numerator and the denominator. And therefore, z is equal to minus i times sine of r pi upon n multiplied by in brackets cos of r pi upon n plus i times sine of r pi upon n divided by cos of r pi upon n multiplied by in brackets cos of r pi upon n plus i times sine of r pi upon n. Where r takes on the values 0, 1, 2 and so on till n minus 1. Now note that when n is even and r is equal to n upon 2, then the denominator of the above expression for z is equal to cos of pi upon n times n upon 2 multiplied by in brackets cos of pi upon n times n upon 2 plus i times sine of pi upon n times n upon 2. And this simplifies to cos of pi upon 2 multiplied by in brackets cos of pi upon 2 plus i times sine of pi upon 2 which is equal to 0. Therefore the scenario n is equal to even and r is equal to n upon 2 is ruled out.
Therefore, going back to the expression for z derived above, we get z is equal to minus i sin r pi upon n multiplied by in brackets cos of r pi upon n plus i times sin of r pi upon n divided by cos of r pi upon n multiplied by in brackets cos of r pi upon n plus i times sin of r pi upon n. Cos of r pi upon n plus i times sin of r pi upon n cancels across the numerator and the denominator and therefore z is equal to minus i times tan of r pi upon n where r takes on the values 0, 1, 2 and so on till n minus 1. And the scenario when n is equal to even and r is equal to n upon 2 is ruled out. And this is the required result.